Actually, fishing trip turned into a remarkable rescue mission when a group of mates spotted a whale caught in ropes off the New South Wales central coast. They didn't hesitate. You get it? Oh. Woo! She's floating there. It's pretty tired. So good. That footage is just unbelievable. And rescuers Mark Stewart and Corbin join us now from Redhead in New South Wales, as well as Kate, who captured it on the camera there. Good morning, guys. Stewart, <laughs> to you first. You were driving the boat. How distressed was the whale when you saw it? Oh, morning, mate. Um, it was pretty distressed. Like, we saw it from a long way out heading towards us, and um, when it got up nice and close, we could see that the buoys um, were wrapped around its sort of tail because it was getting, they were getting dragged along. So, yeah, it was like, it was sort of, what do we do? And then Corby just jumped into action and off he went. Off he went. And that's what I like. Corby. Just jumped into action, didn't think twice. <laughs> uh, Corby, so you jumped in, Mark went in with you. Um, how was the whale with you guys getting so close to it? Yeah, look, it was... Um, I don't think it was too frightened. Um, I think he knew what was going on, or to, to me personally, it, it looked... It felt like he knew what was going on. Um, he, he felt... He looked comfortable in the water. Once I went to his tail, he just stopped swimming. Uh, he was just, like, really passive in the water. It was quite nice. So, Mark, that moment when you get up to a, a magnificent sea creature like that, so big mm. and so enormous, and you know you're, yep. you know, you're like the mouse taking the, the thorn out of the paw, <laughs> paw of the lion, really, aren't you? What was it like, like being that, that close? Um, you know what? <laughs> At the time, we were just um, thinking about getting it free. Um, but, look, once Corbin cut it free, I was basically at the back of the tail there with another knife because he said he was finding it hard to cut the, the rope. Um, just that moment was just elation, you know, just to see it free and sort of turned over on its side and gave us a, a bit of a wave. And I know that sounds kooky and corny, but that's <laughs> no. really what it felt like. Yeah, and, um, you know, just the fact that it was so still wanting us to help it, and it came to us. Mm. We didn't jump in and try, and try and save it or anything like that. It was just sitting there and almost moaning before that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it was just the best feeling and... You know, we've had a bit of, um, oh, not backlash, but just people saying, oh, you know, maybe you should have let it let it go. But in the same situation, have it have it again. We'd just do that same thing. Yeah, I'm with you. come on! I'm I mean, you it. saved us life. You guys did an awesome thing. Stuff um, the naysayers. Corby, I find it very interesting. You keep saying he. Do you know for sure? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got you there. Uh, I, no, you... I don't know for sure. How deep did you dive, Corby? Yeah. <laughs> So he or she. <laughs> hey guys, don't never listen to the naysayers. You did a fantastic job um, freeing the whale there. Good on you, and thanks for chatting to us this morning. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Thank you. And well shot by yeah, Kate there well too. Well shot. Kate, she doesn't have a mic or an earpiece, <laughs> but she did a great job.